Hi, this is Mr. DeBow. I'm going to show you how to make a name tag using Photoshop exclusively and uh, how to import fonts from thefont.com. So the way it works is you're going to have to shut your Photoshop off if it's already on. I'm going to turn all this off and we're going to go to the website thefont.com. We're going to select a font. So you know there are many so I'm just going to pick the first one I see a download and I'll show in folder double click on it open it so there are many working files sometimes it won't work by the way so let's pretend this is the one I want and click install uh, it's, so it's important to remember the name because you're going to have to look for it in a second so it's called skirmisher perfect close this up and let's see. go back to Photoshop. Now I reopen. You could do this if you were using any other Adobe app. You have to close and open it. So if it was Illustrator, same thing. So let's click on Photoshop and reopen. It'll take a few seconds here to reboot that program. It's really important that you close it and reopen it because if it's open, it won't show up unless you reboot it with the. Uh, new font inside so it's called skirmisher you have to remember the name so that's really critical otherwise uh, you're going to be looking for it for a while so, uh, so I'm going to just create a new file so file new I suggest pixels okay you go 1200 by uh, we'll go 350 okay so you pick those your resolution 72 perfect click OK that's exactly what you want. So now I'm going to go and click on my type tool, which is over here, and I'm going to go look for skirmisher. Okay. So there it is. All right. So I'm going to now use this to create a name tag um, that you're going to customize um, and try to make sort of as a logo. So we're going to first of all increase this font size to at least 72. I don't find that that's large enough. I can type in the size of the font. So I'm going to write 130. Let's see what happens. That's a little bit better. So I'm going to go Mr. Dubot. All right. So this is pretty wide. I'm going to move this over like this and I just want to check something here's another really interesting window that you can I'm gonna get you to use while you're on the font layer font layer selected click on character and what I did I did this previously so you might want to reset this if uh, normally this is what it would look like okay so this character window um, is really handy because it allows you to customize things. So what, one of the things I think you should do is at least space it out a little bit. So I'd really space it out a while ago. Um, and then there's other uh, metrics here. You can make your letter 140 degrees wide or even more. So you can play around with those uh, to get kind of a cool effect going on. And I'm going to stop there. I think that's good. I'm going to close this panel. I click enter. Oops, control Z. I click on my selection tool and I'll just move this. Now, what I want to do is play around with this as a graphic. For that to, to happen, I have to right click on this layer and I have to click rasterize. So I'm going to do that. And now it's rasterized. So I'm going to click my marquee tool and I can start playing around with these different letters here. So I'm going to click Control X and maybe I want to do something here and make it closer or something. Control V, paste. So I'll go get my selection tool, move it around, go like this. And maybe I want to do something here with this D. I'm going to go Control X. Oops. Uh, we're going to Select, control 
politics. I probably have to create another layer here. Control X. Right, okay, second. Now let's see what's going on. You gotta reselect on your main layer. That's very obvious. Um, control X again. Control V. I'm gonna take this and I am going to uh, enlarge it. So right click on so it's on its own layer. I'm going to go and, and do it through here. Transform. I'm going to just click Control T. Oops. Let's go back to this D here. This is the one. Control T. And I can now enlarge it. The hotkey for that is Control T. Must press Enter, otherwise it won't work. And we're going to do that. So um, I'm do the same thing with this M. So click my marquee tool, click select, and again make sure I'm on the main layer. Control X, and then I'll do the same thing. Control V creates a new layer. Style selection tool, move this up. Control T, and expand it. Mr. Dubo. Okay, so you're going to continue modifying it as you see fit. One of the things that could be cool to do is to add some colors. And I was having problems with this file and I noticed that I only had a gray channel here. So um, what I'm going to do here is go to, if you're having the same problem, click mode, click RGB and don't flatten it because you want to keep this all separate. And um, when you uh, go to a layer, let's say this is my M layer click control click it will automatically select everything that's on that layer so if I change I want to change the colors alt backspace whatever color you want uh, I really don't like that color but let's go alt backspace this one and uh, you can modify it like that the other thing you can also do is uh, double click on it over here and it'll open the different type of uh, layer styles and you can experiment a little bit with this to uh, give it a little bit of, of flair um, but make sure if you make an effect on one letter that you can apply it to the others so I'll give you that opportunity to uh, to do that to finalize your name tag so if you're not done with your file what we suggest is to save it as a PSD and um, anyways hopefully uh, you find uh, a uh, cool font and that you modify your name tag and use the font as well uh, let me know uh, in the comment section uh, if it's serif or sans serif uh, base your font thanks hopefully you found that uh, interesting